I'm going to talk about how to set up this um, this one security system with the digital recorder. I um, mentioned in my last video, if you want to see the unboxing and learn a little bit more about this, you can do that as well. But basically, I'm replacing an existing system. Otherwise, in my store, um, as you can see, I have a camera over there in the corner. Um, and I have another number of cameras throughout the store. Well, I'm going to have to change out those cameras because they are not high definition cameras. And I need those in order to be able to, you know, run my system at the level that, that I need it to be because this is 1080p and the other one's a lower level. So I'm going to show you on the old device real quick here what the setup is. And it's generally the same for all of them. So this is the one that I have set up here currently. You have your power for the, for the actual hard drive. I'm going to call it the main unit. Um, you have your LAN cable, which is what gives you internet access to be able to see it from outside of the store. You have an HDMI if you have an HDMI monitor to look at it. You also have your standard VGA for monitor, regular monitor like I have. And then you have all your video ends. So within your videos, <clears throat> your video cables, there's going to be two, two parts to it. There's going to be the actual video side as well as you're going to see here on these little red ones. There's going to actually be, actually be power, which is what powers electricity to each of the cameras to be able to turn them on. And I already have this system set up with this. So these little, um, these little white things here, these little red things here are, uh, this is where the power goes into any particular camera here to power the actual cameras. So all I need to do in my setup is, unplug the cameras that are here and plug them into the new system and each one of these will tell you what what uh, what they are and you heard a beep there because I um, as you can see their camera loss I lost one of the cameras as I plug the power back in and you might have heard the click it's this one uh, right up here that that I was looking at before I'm gonna see if I can show that and show myself waving I don't know if you can see it very well but but yeah there I am waving so uh, so that's the scenario there. So like I say, I'm just gonna take the new one and I'm gonna plug in the cameras. If I want them to be the same number, there's uh, numbers for each camera's, uh, camera on here and I would set them up the same way. On this particular model, it gave you four different audio ins. Uh, you'll see on the new one, as I said, that it actually only has one. So that's kind of interesting. But uh, again, all I have to do is take these off and put this on the new, um, new main unit so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and show you that the first thing I did was just put the new main unit up on top of the old one just so you can kinda of see how I do this and the last thing I'm gonna put is the power that's gonna be the final thing as you can see here it's DC 12 volts in 12 volts so they're both 12 volts so that's gonna be the same um, here we have an audio in only one audio out whereas the other one had four and you have eight eight uh, cameras right so each one of these cameras and then VGA right there, as well as the HDMI, just kind of a different configuration. So I'm gonna disconnect my LAN first, and as you can see on my, my monitor, I still have all the cameras just the same because I'm monitoring it in the store in the current location. But on the internet, if I went to the app of my phone, I would not be able to see them now because I've disconnected the internet cable. So I'm gonna put that internet cable into the new one, if you don't have that already, you're starting from scratch, you're gonna to have to get an internet cable if you wanna monitor out, uh, externally from your home or from your place of business. Here you can do uh, LAN USB as well as put in a, a mouse to set up the device when, once uh, you're gonna go that route. Now here, I'm gonna disconnect and I'll see if I can show you the camera setup as well. I'm gonna disconnect this one. I have this one currently set to be camera number seven. So if I want that to be the same, I'm gonna put that over here. You're gonna see number seven right there. So I'll just leave that as is, put that as number seven. Now I'm gonna change out my cameras, but the wires are gonna be exactly the same. So the, the, you don't need to upgrade your wires necessarily. You just need to update the camera um, if you're doing an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna do that for each and every one of them. One thing to note, now I've switched all these over, a couple things to note. One is it doesn't really matter which location you put each camera in. It just matters when you're looking at the app and also here what camera number it is, camera one, two, three, four. So that's just a matter of preference. There's really nothing special about that other than your choice. You could mix and match these around. If you want camera six to become camera one, you just move the location. Now from there, the next thing that's very important to note is that um, 
Um, so then here, like I said, the one another important thing is to make sure that on the wires it says two DVR, DVR side only. This side has to go into here. It cannot go into the back of the camera. So make sure that when you look at the wires and when you're running your wires, maybe up in a ceiling or something like that, I have all my wires up over into the drop ceiling. So if you're gonna do that, make sure that the camera side is actually on the wires where it says camera side and make sure that the DVR side's on the side. I also have all the power already set up from before, so I don't need to do that. But other than that, it's just as I showed before, it's just a matter of plugging these two pieces together so that you're putting power out to your camera. So now the last two steps I'm gonna do here is I'm going to remove my VGA cable from, from the old one which obviously kills that, kills the monitor because now it's not plugged in. I'm gonna put that into the new one real quick. Apologies for that. All right, and then finally, the last piece of the puzzle is to pull out the power and power up the new one. So on the DVR side, now we're all set up. I just transferred everything out from the old one to the new one and that's perfectly set up and I can you know, pull this one out of here. Now the next thing that I need to do is to go to each camera, pull the old cameras and put the new, new high definition cameras on because the current one is, is uh, not, not high definition. So I'm gonna wait for that to load up at the moment and I'm gonna go ahead and show you on my cameras. Well, as you can see here already, it went pretty quickly. So now it's showing three, four, five, six cameras and then two other ones are not available because I only have six cameras in here. All right, so just to go back over here, as I mentioned in my other video, it came with a, 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 a uh, LAN cable. It also comes with an HDMI cable if you want to use that. Here is the power supply that it came with, but I don't need to do that because I already have it. But this one show, has eight um, power ends, and this plugs into a wall. And then um, this is the power cable for the actual DVR unit which I didn't need to use because I had it for my old one and they were both the same voltage. So before you uh, plug anything in, make sure that the voltage is the same uh, when you're doing that. Um, now we'll just kind of show you on the cameras how you set those up. All right, so then on the camera side, you're gonna have two cables as well. Um, and that's gonna correspond with the cable that's up uh, um, inside the wall right now. The one is gonna be to give it the actual signal to run the camera itself. And then the other one is going to look exactly like the other one, the power cable. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and run those, uh, one of these, kind of show you how that is, and then just repeat the process times the number of cameras that you have. So we'll get, get up on a ladder and pull out our cameras and put in the new ones. You may not be able to see it this well, that well, but essentially you can see, I can see that this is quite grainy uh, when I'm looking at the old cameras in this new device. I'm also gonna be able to kind of switch this to a um, you know, switch this to a uh, higher definition, like change it so you can see all these. I don't really like it flashing back and forth, but the resolution is so-so to me. Um, so basically, uh, you can see it's a little bit grainy, and I'm going to show you what the end result once I change the cameras out. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to pull the power on this before I start uh, changing out the camera so that there is no power to the cameras when I'm changing them out in the front. Okay, so here's on the camera side where you um, have the power. Again, take that out. And see right there, it says camera side use only. Yes. You have that, and then here, you're just gonna twist this like you did on the back and disconnect this, this camera here. I'll have to put the phone down to do that because, or my camera down to do that because um, it's a twist there. You can see that right at that spot. There's a twist here, so you gotta kinda compress these two together and then twist this off, and then as you twist this little knob to here, it just pops out. So I'm gonna disconnect that. All right, so far the only issue I have with this camera is that the base of the other cameras was larger, and if I use one of the holes for the screw, it doesn't line up with the other one. Um, other than that, though, I'm gonna take this and Grab my other wires, connect my camera first, and then put power into it. And then we'll go back and look at the monitor and see where, see how that looks. Okay, so now I have that one camera set up and let's see if we can tell once it goes to the different view, what, um, you know, what 
what resolution, there's a newer resolution that's much higher definition than the other one was. So um, that's the camera that I just replaced as opposed to hopefully we'll show you in a second some of the other ones. Um, as you can see the clarity between them. Um, these ones are shining at the same place. This one just is a little bit darker, but it obviously has higher resolution. Um, this one's up from up higher. And, uh, you know, that's it. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace every camera um, in the same way as you can see me in the bottom right there. And uh, you're going to see uh, that there's much better resolution on the new one. So um, should you have any questions, definitely let us know. But thanks for watching. And uh, I definitely recommend 1080p cameras because you're going to be able to see who the people are, see much clearer in, in every regard. So, uh, you know, you can see that definitely right there that difference in resolution is, is crisp. It's amazing. So um thanks for watching and uh give a thumbs up if you learned something if you liked it if you have any questions definitely uh let, let us know in the bottom thanks